and we're back in the carriage after I don't know how long seems like weeks uh, but I've got a couple of jobs to do on my cyclocross uh, first is going to be changing out these old Shimano Exage cantilevers for where are they uh, in this bag here no brake cables um, some Avid cantilevers, shorty fours. Uh, it's not going to focus. But we've got some Avid shorty fours to go on. They should be lighter, I hope, and better braking. Um, <coughs> so I'll do that first, and then I'll show you what the other job is in another video, separate because it's a bit different. Um, so yeah, shorty fours. First thing we've got to do is disconnect all of these cables all around and take off these old X-Age. Um, one thing I should say before I start, have I got the old pads? The pads make a big difference to your braking, obviously. Um, these are Velo Orange pads that I've put on, which are longer, thinner, and they're actually curved. Yeah, made of some salmon I think that's what they're meant to be described as salmon compound colour compound um, they're meant to be apparently good in wet but they were terrible um, I only changed them because the original pads which were let me see if I can find them no can't find the original pads but anyway the original pads were uh, shorter fatter um, and they were, they were good braking, but they squealed like a bitch in the wet. They squealed so much, so I just changed them. Um, hopefully, the pads on the Avids will be a bit better. But yeah, I'm going to strip it all down and then join you in a second. <coughs> okay, we're all clear now. Um, whoop. What I've just got to do now is just clean up all these mounts. They've just got a bit dirty, uh, a bit corroded, I guess. But I've got to clean them all up so they're spotless, so that the new brakes slide on. Actually, they slide on quite well as it is. <laughs> so yeah, they're meant to be quite loose, quite free. So I've got to grease them up, clean them up. And then I can start running the cables through. See now? Running all the cables through. And then the difference with these new ones are I guess they're lighter and stronger. But also the cantilever bridges. Um, <coughs> the old ones have a straddle wire plus that uh, the hook there. Um, and apparently, you know, in rare cases, um, what could happen is this uh, straddle wire could be, could be uh, in rare cases, this straddle wire could become detached from the hook, which is what goes through the cable there. So when you break, it pulls it up. The straddle wire will go across the tyre. And apparently in rare cases when it becomes detached obviously that drops into the tyre as the brakes spread apart and then locks your tyre up. And if it did the front tyre obviously you just go whoosh, flying over the handlebars. So apparently that's what happens in rare cases. So what they've done now is you've got this device um, which is a pretty solid bridge. The cable will, instead of connecting here, will run through down one arm and then connect to one arm of the cantilever. Um, and then if it does fail, then that just stays in one place and it doesn't drop onto the tyre. Seems a better idea to me because I don't want to go over the handlebars. So I'm just going to clean up everything, grease it up and then start bolting on these new arms.
Okie dokie. Um, brakes are on. Got loads of nice attention in the front. Um, what you have is on my front anyway. Uh, I should have done this before. But there's a little bracket at the back here. Oh, you can just about see. When my finger is there, you see the there the point sticking through. It's three holes for that to slip in. And then I've just adjusted it so I've got like maximum tension on that. So when it when I get off the brakes, it pulls them back out automatically. On the rear, I only had uh, one hole to adjust into, which was awkward because they're quite tight. Um, but I've connected that already. And it kind of works. But yeah, let's do the front. Um, so, found the best way. I need to take this lever off because it's all strapped up already. It's difficult to just feed the cable directly in. So I need to take the lever off, poke the cable through, and in there you can see, hopefully. In there, there's a, the sort of stopper that the cable goes into. I can actually take that out. So I take that out, and then it just makes it a bit easier to find the hole. So I feed that through, and then I can work on adjusting the brakes at this end. Okay, cables through. So now we've got a choice out of big, medium, or small uh, bridges to get on there. Uh, so, just gonna try them out. Big one first. I think that's going to be too too long. So I'm going to put a small one on. Hooked in. Okay, small might be a bit too small. 
a lot too small. Park tool, I've got I've got just enough cable sticking out there so when it is clamped up there's gonna be a bit of cable showing. The small was uh, too low, the tall was the long one was didn't have enough cable there. So park tool So I'm just uh, tighten it up and then backed it off a bit just so I can get that free movement. Okay. They are strong. Okay, and I'll just finish up by just checked all the bolts, check the anchor bolts, you do them up before you put the cable tension on. Um check the pads are making contact with the surface on the rim. Uh, check they're all aligned and just check that this cable pinch bolt is enough so just to finish off snip the cable is that in focus shot? yeah and put a crimp on it done We got one set of Avid Shorty Fours. Shorty Fours? Yeah, Shorty Fours installed. Pretty simple. Using this new brake bridge. There we go. Yeah, nice. That's on uh, nice and tight now. I'll just check the tension again after a few miles riding it. But they're all done. So there we go, another video done. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one.